Hey guys, what's up? This is Pyro here, back for our playthrough of Majora's Mask 3D on the Nintendo 3DS. I'm going to uh, take a few rubies out here, and we're going to be heading to the Goron Village today up at Snowhead. So let's, uh, not Snowhead, but we're going to be heading to the, uh, the Goron Village regardless. I'm going to take 100 rubies out. Uh, I have no clue what I have. How many rubies I got in here? I'm going to take like 50 out, I think. Whatever, I didn't even have any rubies, okay. Bye-bye. Um, so what we want to do here is actually we want to go out of, uh, Clock Town and we want to head up north to the Snowy Path, and... I'm going to actually play the Song of Inverted Time here if we can. Just making sure we're on the actual proper day. You want to always reset your days in between events, guys. Just to give you the most time possible, so I'm gonna... Um... Play that tune. Play that funky music link. And that is going to slow down the time, as you've seen before. I need to get a lot of money. I need to get, I think, about 200 rubies before I head to Goron Village because there's a bomb bag we gotta get. So, you can see it there, guys, up top. Uh, I'm gonna slash this. Just to get some bombs. And rubies. Nothing amazing here, but... You know, it's always nice to have that extra ruby... In the bank. And we'll go over here. That is so slow. So, so slow. Let's kill him. For the sake of it. Okay. Now we've done that, I wanna quickly go to items. Bombs. Drop them down there. And I think I need a little bit more. Am I gonna be honest with you? He's back. Go away! Alright. Now we've done that, let's go down here. We can kill some of these guys. For rubies. So, did Don go? You guys see that? I think it's five bombs it takes. Did I get that in his mouth? I'm out of bombs. Crap. Did I kill him? Is he dead? There we go. Oh yeah. I need to get more bombs though, dude. I can't believe I have so little bombs. I think there's another one over here. grab those, make sure I have some arrows at the very least, and I'm gonna head up the mountain. Here the next area. Up we go. So, oops, wrong button. So Tattle obviously is up there. And she's telling us to shoot that. So you need the bow to get past here. Pretty self-explanatory, to be honest. Pretty self-explanatory. So slippy. New enemy here. Pretty easy. Some arrows. I know I can actually... Can I bomb that? Gotta throw that, of course. I wonder if I can rule into that. Nah, sadly I cannot. Okay. Let's go up. There should be a few more of these guys up here. Go, jump. That's my fault. I'm being stupid here. Didn't even drop anything, dude. Some hearts. Decent. What's up? 
Okay, you don't need to tell me. You don't need to tell me that, guys. You don't need to tell me that. Okay. We got... A few boulders. Blocking the path. What are we going to do? So we need some bombs, man. And luckily... I'm out of bombs. But... Bomb mask, see of the day. <laughs> I took damage, but it was worth it in the end. I got the bomb mask on still? Okay, take that off. Oh, there's another enemy up here. Probably not. I think there's some up here, though. Crap, they got me. They can jump over that, I forgot. Crap. There we go. Yay, a bomb. The sign, what does it say? Mountain village ahead, beware of blizzards and deep snow. Goron should be able to break. So yes, we are going to the Goron village. At least I hope we are. Some mana. Not bad. Hot, hot. That's all Link says lately, isn't it, guys? So here's the mountain village. Pretty cool. And there seems to be a Goron up there. I wonder what he's doing. The Moon Village is actually pretty small. We have no map for this area, sadly. Tragic, I know. But, uh... Let's see what this dude wants to say anyway. He's very hungry. What can I get you, buddy? Just wants to eat one more? Hmm. You cannot forget the flavor of the rocks. Nothing like a big, healthy Goron rock. Anything else over here we can get? There's some stuff, but... Nah. Not much over here, right? Looks like I don't think there is. Just looking for some loot. Nice. Totally meant to do that. I mean, there isn't much here. Is that an owl statue? It's an owl statue. Didn't even see that there. Martin Smith, you be sharp on your sword. Interesting. I don't think we can actually get anything there right now, though. But hey, it may be worth going in just to say what's up, you know? Let's see what's in here. The Martin Smithy. up he's really grumpy today guys oh so yes that is our job here guys not only are the Gorons suffering but also the swordsmith is suffering so we need to search for hot springs where can we find hot springs though I'm not sure anyway Boop. Let's head on over. This is Mountain Village. There should be Gorn Village up ahead. A lot of people ask me why I roll. I think it's faster. Can someone confirm for me it is faster? I'm not sure if it is. Who's that up there? I just wanted to kill that. What is it? Is that it? Damn. Doesn't look like we're getting past there, boys. Does not look like we're getting past there. So. What are we gonna do, guys? What are we gonna do? Oh no. Uh oh, spaghettios. Okay. Well, Mountain Village is there. What should we do? The Goron's there, right? Oops. Let me talk to the Goron. This way to Snowhead. So we can't actually go to Snowhead right now, sadly. Which is the location of the next dungeon, by the way, I think. So, there should be another way to get to our location here. Is 
Got to pick that up. That is behind here. This will take us to Gorn Village. I got them mixed up, I thought. This was the way to Snowhead. And this was the way to Gorn Village, but... Again, my memory's so rusty from playing this game. Like, last time I played this game, I was a kid. I've watched some LPs of it, though, so... My memory is sort of... We got some bridges. Hmm. New enemy here, of course. Oh crap, that was awful. He got me mid jump. Kind of crazy. All you need to do is block his attacks and then follow in. He died. I didn't give me my health that he took. So there is our friend, the legend himself, the lad himself, the 35 year old man who does not want to grow up, Tingo. What up, homeboy? You've met me before. Actually, no, he hasn't met me before because um, the last time he met me was before I actually reset the time. I'll buy the snowhead map. You got the map! We have literally no money though. <laughs> There's the map there, guys. Pretty cool. Um, it does contain all of snowhead. So not just this area. I can go ruby hunting later off screen though, so... I wanted to pick up this tingle. Right, enough of that. Enough of that, mate. I want to pick up that. You're probably thinking... By the way, you do, uh, double. Come on. Attack me. Whatever. Are you gonna attack me? Screw it, man. You're dead. Is he gonna come? Back? I missed. You have to- basically what you have to do is you have to lure him in, right? You really don't need to fight this guy, by the way. Okay, bye. Whatever. <laughs> you wanna play, dude? I, I don't wanna play. I don't wanna play. I got a let's play to record. So here it is, Goron Village. Pretty cool village, by the way. And we have a bunch of freezing Gorons here. He's the gatekeeper. He opens the gate to Goron Shrine. And there is a little side quest we can do. If you want to go in there, that is. And I am going to go in there. But first... By the way, you'll notice there that I actually cut the sign in half, and I probably shouldn't have done that. So someone actually posted a tip in the comments. Can't remember your name, dude, but thanks for that. If you play the Song of Healing, it'll actually restore the sign, apparently. Let's test that one out. Yo, wow, it did. That's pretty cool. No, I wanted to go in. Damn it. How do you get back up? Okay, I thought there was an enemy there. This seems to be... Gorn Powder Cake Shop. It's frozen over, though. What shall we do? There's an oil statue there, which is where we need to go next, but first... I wanna go back up. Dead. 
need to pick up all the rubies I can at this point, guys. So slippy up here, it's like an ice rink. And let me tell you, Link is not the best ice skater in the world. Despite what he may think. Can you open that up now, dude? Okay. I mean, this is this is something we could do later, but I'm gonna do it now. Right. So let's check it out. The crying baby. What's the problem, guys? What about you? Was there anything in that? I don't think so. So these guys obviously are quite upset. Do this this crying baby. He ain't good. Where's the baby? Oh, come on, baby, I'm here. The hero is here to see of you. What up, baby? What are you crying for? He wants his daddy back. Despite all the toys, the baby is still not satisfied. Okay. I just wanted to show you guys that. Oh my gosh, you need a Goron mask to jump over that. That is not cool. Hopefully I'll get the Goron mask today. I think I will. Shouldn't take that long. Let's quickly speed it up though, because I'm taking my time here and... You know, I, it, it's good taking your time sometimes, but... I really gotta pee, I'm gonna be totally honest. <laughs> and I like to do my recording in one take if I can. Oh, there's a Deku scrub, what up dude? Aww, I know he, pro he probably sells magic beans, right? Can I get up here? What was that? Oh, Deku stick, okay. Some more arrows, nice. So this is the aisle. So the aisle from Ocarina of Time basically tells us we gotta save it. Or else we're screwed. Okay, I might mess this up. So, you know, bear with me if I do. Look where these dropping feathers. You see? So look where the landing guys. See? I fell. What the heck? That was awful. Some people use the bunny mask. I probably should. If not, I'll just fast forward to the attempt I get it. Because I am not the greatest platformer in the world. It's slippy as hell as well. And then you have like a second half-life. See, I can't see. My problem my main problem with this is the is the actual slippiness. So we get across here, we're gonna get a prize. And I need to get that because I need to get it the uh, advance in the story. There we go. Oh crap. Just a bite. Yes! So there is invisible platforms there, but somehow we can see them. If only there was an item that we could have that would help us see invisible things. If only, guys. I really wish we could get something like that. <laughs> the lens of truth. Pretty cool. So, whack that there. It drains magic, and... It lets us see some things. 
So, some rubies, not bad. Um, pull that up. I'm gonna get some more. So that's pretty good. Lens of Truth, we're gonna need that to progress with the story. Can I have something other than magic, please? No. Seems like, no, you're not getting anything. Bombs, I guess. Pretty cool. Free bombs is fine with me. I don't think there's anything under here, but... I'm gonna drop it like it's hot. Because the bomb is hot, right? Nothing? No. Really? Yeah, nothing. Okay. That's all we needed anyway, so let's head on out. And go back. And if we pop that... We can see the platforms. A lot easier than before, right? Did I really fall? Oh my gosh. On the last one as well. Oh, what? Where the hell am I? Oh, there we are. It's slippy though, that's my issue, but I'm I'm very impatient when I play these games, and it probably shows. I'm I'm really used to uh free flowing stuff, you know. I've played a lot of parkour games lately. Mainly Dying Light, and I've been sort of spoilt. <laughs> not to say Ocarina of, no, not, not to say Majora's Mask uh, is bad. By the way, we have a Ghost Goron here. This guy's actually uh, Dormani. Probably shouldn't spoil that, but whatever. And we need to follow him. I mean, you don't even need that, because he has a shadow. I'm going to put the bunny hood on. That's not the bunny hood, is it? It is. No, no, it isn't. It's the Super Mario wig. The Bremen mask. It does look like the Mario wig, though, doesn't it? Now, let's hurry up and find this guy, anyway. Just need to keep up. Just need to keep up. Alright, I ain't got time for you, buddy. Because I'm going to save the world. Let's go. Let's go. I love the fact that the... The thing is there. The dude. They're like, who's the dude, Paro? There he is there. Oh, there's another one of those dudes. But I ain't got time for that. Oh, gosh. Is it nighttime already? No, it's dawn. How has a day passed? Since, uh... Last time? You just thought I hit these checkpoints with him. I mean, you don't really need the, the Lens of Truth on, but... You do need it to restart each sort of checkpoint. But yeah, don't mind it looks so much better in this game. I'm just noticing that. Where are you bringing me, mate? Where are you bringing me? Oh, he's bringing me over here. Oh, and look. Interesting. Interesting. These weren't here before, were they, guys? I don't think they were. So there's a specific pattern for this, by the way. Because you can go right or left there, but... It's right, left, right. I think... Thank you, game. I really needed to know that. Crap. Oh! I probably should stop doing that. Quite funny, really, how the Lens of Truth just appeared when the time that we needed it the most. You know? <laughs> awesome. And we got two Gorons up here. What up, dudes? So you, you two guys are stuck? You wish you had hot spring water, and the gravestone's blocking it. 
I wonder who's, who's gravestone it is, though. Surely it couldn't be this ghost. Am I right? <laughs> Let's see. Let us check it out. Darmani the Third. He was a warrior for the Gorons. Oh wow, he hoped he could defeat the demon. He died? Damn. Heal his sorrows anyway. And guys, notice heal has been highlighted twice. I wonder what we could do for him. I guess we should play the, the Song of Storms. I uh, only I could play that, man. I love that song. Oh, crap. Gotta play the Song of Healing. Doo -doo -doo. What a soothing melody. He looks so happy. No, he doesn't. He looks so sad. We get a little cutscene here. Which I'm going to be quiet for. Tears. Darmani weeps. And so we get our next mask. The Goron mask. Pretty cool. So we go up here and read it. I think if I use... Uh, that right? It should help. No. Oh wait, wait, wait! I know. Not even the mask of truth. If I actually put the Gorn mask on, it should let me to read Gorn, right? <laughs> Spooky as hell! I hit those transformations, dude. Like, can I read that? It is honor a great hero, our fallen friend. So basically this just tells you what he can do. You can roll, you can punch. So, if you spam B, you can do like a combo attack, a butt, butt thrust. You can pound. The best one is though, you can just roll around like crazy. Look at that. And then if you do it fast enough, you get spikes. See? It's like a Beyblade, except the specs. Pretty cool. Anyway, we grab that and pull it back. The hot springs. Get some water. No, I think this water actually has a timer on it, so we need to be quick. <laughs> they think I'm Dormani. If we wanna use that. And he's freed. Darmani ain't dead, I'm Darmani and I. So yeah, we need to do stuff, something. I don't want to go in there, I want to... Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Oh, I missed, I... I messed it up, damn it! <laughs> I was trying to... I was trying to... You know, go off the map. Let's try and do that. There we go. That should be enough, right? No, no, I messed it up. Silly me. 
Oh crap, what the hell? Okay, there we go. I failed, but I took damage. Let me just quickly... Deku scrub. So guys, I'm going to conclude this episode here. I'm going to go over here and save. But now that we have access to the hot spring water, it opens up a whole bunch of opportunities for us to go and do stuff uh, in the Gorn Village and in the Blacksmith House as well. So, uh, yeah, that should be pretty good. But on that note, I'm going to sign out here. This is Pyro. Uh, signing out, of course. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.